Mohs hardness scale created by German geologist Friedrich Mohs allows us to figure out hardness on a relative level from 1 to 10. 1 being relative to talc, which is brittle enough to streak on a chalkboard for any embarrassing Bart Simpson moments you may have, and 10 being relative to diamond, and if I used it in a sentence about its hardness, then I may make a few viewers uncomfortable with how hard it really is. If I was to describe different concepts, feelings, things in a way that expresses their difficulty and hardness, then I might use the Mohs hardness scale. I will use the Mohs hardness scale. The items on the scale are things we can touch, we can taste, we can eat, we can feel. I can eat rocks all day, every day, because I'm a granite munching American, but I can't munch concepts, and that's unacceptable. So today, using Mo's hardness scale, we will rate the hardness of things that are intangible. Things that aren't really physically hard. Also, get your mind out of the gutter. I can see your sticky Dorito fingers typing right now, and no! I'm not gonna leave your house. Dealing with the emotions that arise after failing a test that you studied for. Have you ever stayed up all night for an entire week studying only for that lack of energy to be your downfall? That creeping feeling that you didn't put in enough work and that shock of electricity that runs down your spine when the teacher hands you back your geometry test and you failed because at a fundamental level you just can't understand shapes? I would put this at a five, aka appetite. From Software Games, listen, I've been through a bunch of From Software Games all in the last six months or so, and these are all just baby games. All you do is hit the enemy with a big stick or a chunk of iron, and like a protein shake, it might be a little chunky at first, but eventually it goes down smooth. I'm kidding, before you start gripping the edge of your desk, it's jokes. I have never had a harder time adjusting to a video game in my entire life. But once I got it down, it was only a little rough. I would say four, but Sekiro and my inability to complete it brings this up to a seven, aka quartz. Getting peanut butter stuck on the roof of your mouth after eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Have you ever sat there in discomfort for so long just because you don't have the motivation to walk 10 feet, 10 feet to the fridge to pour yourself a nice frothy cold glass of cow drink? Your tongue exerting its maximum output to try to dislodge that sticky brown goo lodged all around and inside your palate? This is definitely a four, aka fluoride moment. Building up enough meter to deal with racist family members at holidays. You know when in fighting games you have to either hit the other guy, taunt, or take damage to build up enough meter to be able to unleash your super move? I personally prepare myself for the holidays by imagining that I've already taken so much psychic damage that I can then handle saying sure 4,000 times around the Thanksgiving table without falling face first into the potato mash. I put this at an 8, aka Topaz. Resisting the urge to mow the lawn when you see your neighbor mowing. This one is nigh impossible. I swear, even if it's only been a few days since the last time I mowed, if I see my neighbor out there mowing their lawn, I have to fight off some primal feelings, some ingrained brain worms, so I don't go out there and start mowing the lawn. I haven't lived in a house in 12 years, and the second I'm back in one, it's like a beam of pure dad energy has seeped into my bones, and I can barely fight it before I'm out there in 90 degree Fahrenheit weather, snorting diesel to stun on my neighbor. This is a 10, aka diamond. Trying to recall a smell that you remember, but not being able to remember exactly what it is. A certain perfume your mom used to wear, the smell of summer, hanging out at the pool with your weird friend Dirk. Well, that last one is chlorine. That's chlorine smell. I tricked you, it's all chlorine! I mean, it's not all chlorine. I could make it all chlorine, but it's not. You've had that feeling, that vibe of smelling something familiar, but not being able to place exactly what it is and where the smelt was dealt. I mean, what are we but molecules and nostalgia? This one gets a six, AKA orthoclase. Holding on to a secret. I'll be real with you, sometimes it can be tough. A happy secret, a sad secret, that dark, mysterious secret you've been keeping from me, but I'm this close to finding out what you did in Buffalo in the spring of 98. It can be tough to hold onto a secret, to harden those lips into granite and stone, and no matter what, to never let that secret go. In the end, however, trust is more important than self-satisfaction, and trust should always win. 
Unless it's a crime. Well, an uncool crime. If it's an uncool crime, let it rip. If it's a cool crime, hold on to it. This one is a three, AKA calcite. Drinking the entire pot of hot dog water after boiling a couple of wieners. You've done it, I've done it, we've all done it, right? That water needs to go somewhere, and I'm not letting it go down into the sewers for the gators to slurp. They don't need the meat water, and you need the protein. Don't be a coward, do it. Drink the hot dog water. Hell, fill your bong with it, make that kushu mommy. One, AKA talc. Trying to survive somewhere with poor cell signal. I know that this one is a real hoopty do. I could have talked about the ramifications of accidentally falling mouth first on your grandma's feet, but instead I decided to jump into a digital age conundrum. For me, my phone is a comfort. Sometimes I need to check the same web page 15 times within a five minute time period. Not because I'm expecting to see something new, but because as a creature of habit, doing something that makes me feel dopamine makes my brain nice and fuzzy. And I know that the wife bad, chop wood, eat squirrel crap will say, just don't be baby. But it can be frustrating having something that brings you comfort not work when you may need it most. I'll give this one a three, AKA calcite. Ordering food for yourself at a restaurant, the waiter keeps slapping your head every time you don't make eye contact. 10, that's a 10. No, that's a certified 10 right there. A diamond, and it's rough. Going against your morals because your job pretty much demands it of you, this could work for any job, but for my example here, I'll use retail because that's where I worked. Anyone who ha works or has worked retail will tell you that numbers and metrics are all that matter to those who sit at the top of the food chain. Old guys who ask you to pimp credit cards and memberships so they can sit there on their phone and eat caviar out their big boy boots. And if you're someone who's not comfortable upselling everything the big boys expect you to sell, then you have to decide whether or not an ass reaming is worth ruining someone's credit score over. Sometimes the demon wins, and we don't want to admit it, but it does, and you see yourself in the mirror with the plastic crimes you've committed covering your hands in their raspy whispers, and sometimes, sometimes you quit your job and decide that selling feed pics online is more morally rewarding than tricking someone into more debt. But what do you do if you got ugly feet? Seven, AKA quartz, breaking a habit. For a while I had this problem where I would scratch or pick at my teeth and once I realized that I was doing it without thinking, I would start biting my fingers whenever they got close to my mouth. Now I have a finger biting problem. I mean, I don't know if it's worth fighting for or if you have to scream about it. And I don't mean to instigate and say something I don't mean about it, but I, I don't know how I got this way and I know it's not all right. So I guess I should probably stop biting my fingers and break that habit tonight. Eight, AKA Topaz. Seeing a cool poison frog and knowing that you'd be too afraid to hold it, I remember seeing the steamy jungles, grassy plains, and the dark depths of the ocean in those zoo books commercials. And after acquiring my very own frog book, I realized that there are some cool looking frogs and I just wanna hold them in my hands, touch them, squeeze them a little bit. And I am a little bit afraid to do so. And I really shouldn't because a lot of them are chock full of poison. I mean, I'm not gonna get consumed with an invasive thought to pop them into my mouth like a psycho would, but I just think that it'd be nice to hold one of those frogs in my hands without dying. And my fear of dying in poison always outweighs my need, but I really, really wanna hold a cool frog. Four, AKA fluoride, getting out of bed. Sometimes you wanna have a lazy day, Sometimes you know you're gonna have a crazy day, and sometimes, just sometimes, you jump out of bed with a spring in your step only to realize that's just a dream. While you pull the covers over your head and ask for five more minutes of blissful rest. I'm gonna average all of this out to a six, aka orthoclase. Going to bed. Be it waiting for something stressful, plain old anxiety, or those pesky fifth dimensional sleep paralysis demons. Sometimes it can be just as hard to go to bed as it is to get out of bed. Sure, you have those days where your head hits the pillow and you're knocked out waiting for a revive from your duo's partner, but other days you're just hiding in the bush hoping that you'll be the last one on the map before the storm comes in. Six, AKA Orthoclase. 
finishing a show, even though it started to get terrible. Just don't finish it. One, aka Talc. Finding a game to play, but you have too many games to play. It's stupid, right? To have so many games and not be able to pick up a single one. To have so much entertainment right there, a click away, but your brain keeps short-circuiting and you can't make a decision. I mean, you could use this for anything, really. Clothes to wear, food to eat, dog welder comics to read, anything. I mean, you have to make a decision eventually, right? Or you can just look at a wall and watch the decay. Two, AKA gypsum. Making a succulent, delicious meal and realizing that you're out of one of the ingredients for the succulent, delicious meal. Sometimes you goof up at a grocery order, you just plain forget, or a calcium demon has broken into your home and sucked up all the milk. Any which way that the wind blows, this one blows real hard. I hate making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich only to get started and realize that I am all out of jelly! Am I really outing myself as a jam hater, a preserves prude, a jelly enjoyer? Yeah, I am. But it's worth it. It's all worth it. Seven, aka Quartz. Having to go to the bathroom while watching a movie in the movie theater. This will be one that I have to average out because really if it's a perfect piece of cinema then you'll piss your pants not to miss a second. But if it's a Marvel movie that you've been kidnapped and forced to see by Disney enforcer agents then you might really draw out the piss or poop to play on your phone for a bit before going back inside the theater and consuming the almighty content, you'll be content with it. And remember that the mouse provides four, aka fluoride. Diamonds are forever. No, they aren't. Nothing is forever. Eventually, diamonds will give way to entropy just like life, radiation, heat, and baseball. If diamonds really are forever, then why is it that when I throw them in a black hole, they spaghettify like anything else? One, aka Talc. Dog is a man's best friend. One time a dog bit me. I forgive that dog. Dogs are pretty neat. Nine, aka Corundrum. The end of this video. It's hard to let go, isn't it? It's hard to find yourself at the end of the video deciding what new piece of delectable content that the almighty algorithm is going to dish out to you. I hope that I've treated you well, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video, but like all things, this too must come to an end. However, every end is a new beginning. And when you do let go of this video, I hope that great new content awaits you. I'm sure that you'll enjoy it. 3. AKA Calcite Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. There are also things. You can check out the Patreon. You can check out my Twitch streams, uh, the Bryn Daniel 2 channel for stream highlight videos, or the description for the myriad of different links that you can find and click on and clap your hands. Otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna go and think about hard things, hard times, hard thoughts. Goodbye. <laughs>